guys, how are you doing? It's the beginning of the year, so it's time to nail your goals down. And I'm personally not a big fan of just writing down your big goals. I'm a fan of an actionable plan that helps you to move towards your goals. So in this particular video, let's discuss how the tool called Notion can help you to move towards your goal day by day, month by month, and quarter by quarter. Let's do it. Alright, so as I've mentioned, Notion is some sort of almighty tools that is a mix of web pages, Trello, Airtable, uh, to-do lists and calendars and all sorts of grids and management boards. And blog can be anything, starting from the text, media images, calculation boards and whatever, different pages, different organizational charts. So um, basically you can do with it anything you want. And by the way, if you want to use it, make sure to use my link. I will definitely leave it below. And uh, with this link, you can get 10 bucks for free. So you can actually buy unlimited uh, amount of blocks if you're just getting started to use it. Now let's get started with the actual yearly annual goals framework, right? So as you can see, this is our dashboard. This is our main page from where the job will start from where we will go into quarters and from quarters we will go into months and from months we will go into weeks um, again just because it is beginning of the year we need to kind of understand do, what do we want from this year what goals and metrics do we set up for ourselves to understand in which direction you want to develop basically to make conscious choices about where do you want to navigate your career brand family health and so on and so forth right so here on this page what we do is basically starting by writing our top five yearly goals right here on the on the right side then we can go to the specific goals like professional personal family and other dreams or high hopes that you want to get from this year and of course these sections are dynamical they are not fixed so you can change that navigate them delete them uh, rearrange them as you need it right and of course um when you complete the year after this particular invisible line you will reflect on this year when the year will pass by the end of 2020 so you will basically be able to see uh -huh, how many priorities or goals you've accomplished what didn't go so well what were the biggest bottlenecks uh, that were preventing you from achieving your goals and what you decide to give up and so on so basically you can understand how this year went for you it will be much much easier to remember for you all the achievements all the issues all the new high hopes and what have happened in relation to what you are planning to happen right but now again this is a very simple board that you will basically start with in the beginning of the year during the year you will check mark a couple of the goals and at the end of the year you will of course reflect on what happened in this year but since year is very very abstract and sometimes it's very easy to get distracted to forget something that was important for you at the beginning of the year it's even hard for you to sometimes remember your routine repeatable tasks like for example paying your taxes or bills or managing typical stuff every day so sometimes you need to have those to-do list and sometimes you need to know what do you want to do in specific months and quarter and for this this is where the structure goes in okay if we go in here this is a navigation for notion and this is basically the software but notion also had the website and the mobile app that organized in the same literally way okay so um as you can see i organize many different things so all of those blocks are interconnected also with my board with my yearly goals framework and i will show you how in a second so here is the shareable workspace, the template that you will duplicate. Uh, inside you will find four quarters. Inside of each quarter you will find each month related to this quarter and inside of each month of course you will find the weeks week one, week two, week four um, and actually I've already named all the weeks for you so you just simply can copy paste it also includes the dates and calendar links okay okay now without any further talks let's see what do we have in the quarter so in the quarter you will see uh -huh, we have these months so we have priorities for the quarter uh, again goals if you want and of course after the quarter is over go ahead and reflect on what happened in this quarter uh, towards your annual goals and what didn't happen for what reason it didn't happen and so on and of course, by the way, you can easily change those. It's it's just the way I will do it. But if you have some different uh, habits, different ways of reflecting, make sure to just, you know, go ahead and write whatever text, whatever uh, question you want to ask yourself after the end of the quarter. Uh, okay, so let's go into each month. Let's say January. You can see the link to the Google Calendar. If you go, um, you will literally see the beginning of this month and you will be able to compare what's happening in your timeline, how busy is your timeline. As you understand, it's very important to be realistic about how much free time do you actually have in order to achieve these goals. 
Okay, um, the same goes here. You have months later view uh, with same typical questions. And inside of the week, the structure is first time changes. So inside of the week, you also will have uh, the Google Calendar link with the weekly view. You will have priorities that you want to set for this week. And um, of course, you will have to do list for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. Same for a reflection. By the way, let me even show you how I started already using this because it's the beginning of the year and I started to practice it, started to see how it works for me. So here is the first week in my site and I already have a couple of priorities set a um, couple of to-do lists happened. Uh, for example, yesterday I didn't finish the article about this notion yearly planning framework, but today I'm kind of doing it. As you can see, shoot yearly notion and so on. So um, it's pretty easy to manage. Just write them down in the beginning of the day. And uh, by the end of the day, you can just check mark what you've accomplished, uh, what went down great. And of course, by the end of this week, if you want, of course, you can also reflect in this week. And that's basically all you need to know about structure. It is as simple as this. But here's where the tricky part goes that I need to share with you. And that's actually the main goal of this video. So let me go back to this structure I was sharing with you, Annual Girls. Okay. Okay, so here's what you will need to do. First, of course, I will give you this link, the template link for a whole um, annual goal framework. But if you will hit just like this, duplicate to Anfisa, you will see very quickly that we are, oops, above the limit of the 5,000 blocks. So unfortunately, we can't do this, but we can do the workaround. And here's how you will do it. Uh, basically, what you need to get started with is uh, go to your first page, um, go to new page, create, let's say, yearly plan, yearly plan, whatever. And immediately you will see, aha, uh -huh, you just created a new page, which is empty yet. Um, there is nothing inside, but just stay on it. You can also add some icon in there. Um, let's say this one and add the cover, if you will. <laughs> and so the next thing you really need to do is just to copy paste everything I offered you here. So what you will just do, select all of these blocks, um, you know, make sure to select all the, all the, um, all the columns as well. Just hit command C. And of course, drop it here in your page. And that's basically and essentially all you need to do. But of course, you might also want to rearrange it and play a little bit around. So here is a um, few tricks that I would like to share with you. Uh, for example, the columns. How did I achieve doing the columns? So it's pretty simple, actually. You would just need to select all of this um, second columns uh, content and drop it right after uh, the yearly, the quarterly goals. Okay. But you can see that some of the content did get into the first column. So we just need to drop it there. And so goes for everything else. So in the specific goals, we have three columns. So what you will need to do is just again, select all the personal uh, goals content and drop it to the column right next to the professional title. Okay. And also make sure to drop this content as well into professional. Same goes for the next column. You will just need to do it like this. And here you go. Voila. <laughs> so you can also see that sometimes it doesn't fit completely. Uh, you can do the full width so it will fit better. And of course, you can add there some picture if you wish. Um, you can just play around. Uh, you can use splash pictures, which I really love and play around. It's really giving you so many endless possibilities. And now instantly you can start running it. Basically, uh, what you will probably want to do is to rename this um, this whole section so you can go inside and basically you will appear in your uh, quarters but you instead of going to each of them and um, kind of change the names in the title uh, one by one I would just recommend you to hit three dots rename and of course uh, delete copy delete copy that's basically it and voila everything you need to have is already in sight you have all the weeks, you have uh, your quarter, January weeks, and you can kind of start running it. And by the way, another thing I wanted to share with you, let me just log out of here and come to my uh, main account. So here in the quarter one, this particular week that just started, first week, um, you can also have internal links to the other pages. So as you can see, uh, in this week today basically i want to make another post about universities to my instagram profile and if i hit here i will actually appear on the other board um in my insta calendar board as you can see and here is already the text and basically draft for the next post and if you hit insta calendar you will actually see uh 
all the drafts that I'm planning from from my Instagram calendar. So you can see everything is really interconnected here. It's very easy to navigate. Again, if I hit here, I will appear in my week and I will start uh, going through it smoothly trying to be accountable of my goals, plans, and actions, all right? Alrighty, guys, that's everything I wanted to share with you. If you have any questions, if you have any issues, feel free to reach me out. I am mostly available um, in Instagram, but of course, you can also use my email to send me questions, and I will always be happy to help you. Hope you're having a great and bold beginning of the year. Make sure to reach your goal, make sure to keep going, make sure to stay positive, and of course, make sure to stay accountable for your own goals. And don't forget to like and comment under this video if you found it useful. And of course, subscribe to this channel so that I can see you many more times this year. Yay, happy 2020, everyone! <laughs>